a different way of doing that is using one of the simplest formats import methods that I know of and that's called the Aiken format and to use this format we select import and it allows us to import multiple questions at one time in the Moodle and here's how it works guys I'm going to open notepad start notepad and I'm going to type these questions into notepad using what's known as that Aiken format the reason I use notepad it's just your basic simple word processor it doesn't add any code into the word processor as you're using it which can affect a Moodle test if you're using Microsoft Word or another word proce processing program that's actually adding some metacode into the document so what was our original question what is the capital of Oklahoma question mark I'm going to use a shift actually hold down the shift key and enter which gives me a, a hard return on my notepad and for a plausible answer I'm going to put in capital A with a parenthesis around it one space and I will put in Guthrie shift enter uppercase B parenthesis space Oklahoma City shift enter C uppercase C parenthesis space uh, what else did I say I said Woodward shift enter uppercase D parenthesis space and I think I said Shawnee now shift enter again and type in answer I did that in uppercase followed by a colon one space and the correct answer in this case is the letter B so we put in the letter B let's do another question how far is it to the moon question mark enter A 10 light years ah. B 20 miles C a long way and we'll leave it at that correct answer in this case colon space we will use C as the correct answer C. Now I'm going to add some, I'm going to pause and add some other questions and then I'll bring this recording back online. Okay, I have added a few more test questions using the Aiken format into our quiz using notebook, Notepad. And the other questions that I added, uh, what method of entering questions into Moodle are we using? We're using the Aiken method correct answer is D. Can you share your Moodle question banks with your fellow teachers? Uh, of course you can. Uh, why reinvent the wheel? Other teachers can use these test questions to fit their needs and you can even use Aiken to type true false questions. All of these are correct so I made that a D answer. The Aiken format for importing questions into Moodle is difficult. That is false so under answer I put B and could you show this format to students and have them build their own test well of course you could the answer is a so now that we have these questions added in a notepad I'm going to go to file save as I'm going to save this test as Oklahoma Aiken it's going to be a text document and I'm going to place it on my desktop so that I can find it and save and I'm closing notepad now it's time to actually import that test into Moodle I still have my Moodle test page open uh, in uh, test engine and I've selected the import option what format are we using Aiken so I select Aiken and I'm going to scroll down and we've got to go get that file 
I'm going to browse to the desktop and I'm going to look on my desktop for that file. Here it is, Oklahoma Aiken. Look how small that file is. It's a one kilobyte text document. Let me collapse this window a little so you can see what I'm doing. I've selected that file, then I select open, and I'm selecting upload this file. And what has happened here is it has the questions have imported in the Moodle. It's showing me previews of all the questions. If I had any of my coding wrong, I would show, see some errors here. But we got all six questions, and we will continue. And here are those questions. Now I'm going to draw your attention to where they actually went. And I'll discuss categories at another time. But these dropped into the default Moodle version 1.9 tutorials category. We'll discuss setting up other categories later if you want to do that. But I'm going to now select quiz. And if I scroll down here, I can actually see all of those questions. And the one that I don't want in is this one that about the question Oklahoma history the past which is the first one we put in because I've already added it to the quiz but I select all of these others that came in with the Aiken format and add to quiz and look at that folks we have populated our entire quiz in a very uh, I think efficient manner using the Aiken format and now let's preview the quiz so this is the one we did the slow way. What is the capital of Oklahoma? Oklahoma City. The next question that comes up, can you share your Moodle question banks with your fellow teachers? Of course you can. They can edit their questions. They can even do true, false, and uh, yes, no. So all of these are correct. Could you show this format to students and have them build their own test? Yes, you can. How far is it to the moon? It's a long ways, guys, a long ways. The Aiken format for importing questions in the middle is difficult. We know that's false. What is the capital of Oklahoma? Well, we get this question twice. We know it's Oklahoma City. And what method of entering questions in the middle are we currently using? We're using Aiken. And let's submit all and finish. It looks to me like we got all of them correct. So I hope this has been helpful. Guys, you're welcome to contact me directly at K20 Center, uh, scott.charlson at ou.edu if you need any extra help with this Moodle stuff. Good luck and happy Moodling.